hello everyone welcome back to this youtube channel if you're new here consider subscribing so let me show you what uh, we have done so far on this video side this is our first elevator yes this is the first we haven't put the doors yet because the doors are glass we don't want them to break and uh, this is our second elevator they are right next to each other so this is where the landing plates are going to be put they will be sharing and over here this is uh, their power room where we have the electrical connections stabilizers control panels resistors and all other electrical work but uh, today i had come for a chain block it is in this box but uh, it is a little bit dark so i'll have to get it out fast <sighs> now first part is done it's out of the box it is now out i'll take it now all the way up the next the next shaft there it is So after uncoiling the chain block, it's now to divide it through. Since it is heavy, we are going to divide it into two, two ways of carrying it. So one is going to carry that piece and we shall carry this one in the box. Yeah, so that's where we are from. The power room, you can see it, we carried all the way, following this path down here. Uh, sorry for the mess, it is still a construction set and we are also there. And then, ah, uh, the first resting we rested here. <laughs> yeah, trying to catch some air, it's heavy. And that over there is where we are going. Ah, uh, that's where we rested at first. And now we carried all the way up this way to, our, to where our lift is. This is our shaft, so we shall have to get the chain block and mount it up into the hook that we shall pull the motor from. Ah, now that work is well done, so the chain block has been mounted. Now this is the chain where the motor is going to be tied. So now what's left is now we have to go get it from down. Yeah, so now we are down in the basement and this is now our motor we are removing it from its box the shipping box <laughs> that is the manual release wheel i made a video about how to install the manual release wheel is there it comes with the motor so we are now unwrapping the motor that's what we have inside and voila this is our motor brand new from India it's about uh, 400 kilograms yeah 400 kilograms so after opening our motor we have how to remove these auxiliary parts now this is the fan we have to remove them because while we are taking it up it, it, it might damage these outside parts yes it might damage them so we tried to open them out and 
take it up when they are not there. Then after putting it up, then these other parts will be put on later. Yes, they have to stay safe. And now this is how we move the motor. Yes, we put it on top of pipes and we roll it over until the extraction point. So now this is our motor. Yes, we're going to take it up using one of the twin cabins I showed you earlier before. One of the twin elevators. Because the other shaft it is very far it is at the corner of the building and there are stairs so it will be much more easier when we use this lift here to take us so this lift that we are in is for 21 passengers it can carry this motor yep so now here we go up Yeah, so now the lift is moving slowly because it is in inspection mode. Yes, it is not a normal operation. Now our motor has reached the shaft. So now what we do is the chain that is going to pull it up is the one that we tie onto the motor. So now down here it's what we are trying to do. We are tying the chain onto the motor so that it can be pulled all the way up to up. Yes, so now after tying our motor onto the chain block, it's now to hoist it. Yes, someone has to be up there pulling it up manually. <laughs> yeah, you must eat food. Must eat food, pull it up. And here it goes slowly, slowly. Inch by inch until it is up, it will eventually reach it has to reach. This is the day. A few minutes later, now we manage to hoist the motor until it sits. Yes, the motor sits on the machine base. But unfortunately, this is the time everyone waits for. Time for lunch. So now lunch is done and now this is our shaft and it's time to finish our job that is the motor up there. Now you can see the motor has sat in its place but uh, we have one thing left we have to install back these rubbers the vibration absorbers you tighten them using these bolts the front bolts have been put so you have to lift this up you put a rubber under also the same for behind here let's do this now all the rubbers have been put in their right positions so it's now time to tighten the bolts 
on the motor and uh, I also made a video how to install the motor glaze yeah this base where the motor is sitting I'll leave the link in the description below the motor is now well installed fixed firmly mission accomplished thank you for watching consider subscribing like share and comment below i look forward to your comments what kind of videos you like me to do for you have a good one